So Friday evening, we got a reveal trailer for Battlefield 1, the new Battlefield game. It's set in World War 1, and we'll put you against many different forces. You'll get a very, I suppose, to feel just like it did back in World War 1 with many different factions and many different countries fighting against each other, whether it's trench warfare or in a different area altogether. Now... This looks very good. It looks like another trailer from DICE or from EA in general that really looks like it's going to be a great game. That Zeppelin at the end is really nice. I really uh, enjoyed that. It just calls back to an age that we don't see much anymore and is a part of gaming that we have not seen for the past decade. You know, this is something that Call of Duty really got called out of, uh, called out on in advance we're in, uh, in Infinite Warfare, and now we're getting a chance to see that in this title. My thing is I can't trust DICE, because DICE has given us two games prior that have not delivered at all. And we've seen trailers for both that promised us really great content that just isn't all that great. We can talk about Battlefront all we want, it's just not a good game. It uh, was high hopes and high promises, but the fact that it didn't even deliver from the 2004 version is very disappointing. It was very limited, it was very lackluster, people did enjoy it, it was good for a little bit, it had the Star Wars lore, but then it stopped being interesting. Maybe Battlefield 1 can sort of capture that moment, capture that time period, but you know, the the idea it, that it seems to be going for uh, looks interesting, but doesn't overall seem like something that, it seems like a very ambitious thing. It doesn't seem like something that you can just have as a simple thing, and if they do DLC updates like Battlefront, I'll be very pissed off. Um, hopefully they have a very full game at launch. This can't be something where you limit the audience immediately. Uh, the other game, of course, is Battlefield 4. Odd naming because we had Battlefield 1 now, and before it was Battlefield 4, but Battlefield 4 had many technical issues, whether it was on PC, PS4, or Xbox One back in 2013. We had that issue, and now it is solved. Um, but its launch was very disappointing. And so, you know, DICE is not a developer that we can trust. It's not something that we can just say, okay, we're comfortable with because they just haven't proven themselves. They've made some great spectacles in terms of visuals, but everything else doesn't deliver. Their content is lackluster or very limited or very broken. Uh, overall, this also kind of gives me a, a, an odd s a situation with uh, PlayStation's sort of contract with Call of Duty. This might be the first year that, that Call of Duty really declines in sales. Uh, significantly, people aren't really excited for this new Call of Duty, and the fact that Xbox One teamed up with Battlefield this year, or teamed up with EA in particular this year, means that we might see some really interesting stuff from uh, from Battlefield, and people are really excited about this title because of the fact that it's different, it's not going to that futuristic warfare that we've seen for the past three to five years. Um, what are your thoughts, guys? Because, you know, honestly, I don't think I can trust DICE, and doesn't seem like it's dooming for PlayStation, but it definitely is something where Xbox is getting ahead, of, getting ahead of the curve. Obviously, DICE must have shown them something, or Xbox was asking what they would see um, at E3. And this is going to be a very inter interesting E3. We have two different FPS shooters going up against each other, um, and they're going to actually have some competition because of their sort of contrasting differences. Uh, comment below, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Brian Swan. Stay tuned for more.